coming real, it's the next episode. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rockstar the Villain here, and today I'm finna give my thoughts on playing the Division 2 private beta. I kind of wanted to make a video on playing the open beta as well and just give my thoughts on both. But I'm like, you know what? Forget it. I see everybody else out here, you know, they are voicing their opinion about the game. So, I mean, why not? Like, I might as well voice mine as well. I know I don't have a voice like Wids or Marco or any of those big, you know what I'm saying, name YouTubers, but you know, the devs, they want us to talk about the game, so I mean, I'm not expecting this video to hit like 100k views, not like that, but hey, it's still good for me to actually give my opinion to what I feel about the game, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about PvE and PvP, mostly about PvP, you know, I'm a hardcore PvP fan, and uh, I played Division 1 for... <laughs> basically for the three years i got like 200 and some days on that game it's ridiculous but um yeah let's just get straight to it so the first thing let's talk about pve not gonna lie pve and division one was good but pve and division two it felt great it felt like they really wanted us to play how they want us to play and I know that might kind of sound kind of confusing, but like the devs, they really want us to play a certain way in PvE and PvP. But in, in PvE, everything feels right. Movement still feels right. You know, NPCs, flank, you know, like it, 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 it feels like it's basically you rather play with a team. It'll be more like it'll be more fun. But playing it's doable in solo as well. But playing it solo will probably be a little tough, but I like games that are very hard and tough. But I normally play with a team in a majority of games that I play with. So, but I could say uh, PVE is, is it feels great, um, and that's about it. I, there's nothing nothing else for me to talk about when it comes to PVE. It's like PVE just feels specifically good. So for any PVE that actually likes to play a game that's do with PVE, I, I recommend them to pick up this this game. Um, it's you will have a blast, especially you have a team and. It's open world, you know, so it's a lot you could do. It's not just doing main missions. You go in dark zone. You could do, you know, um, like the, what's it called? The um, control points. That's what it's called. You could do the control points. Apparently, it's they're bringing back HVTs as well. So, I mean, it's a lot to do. And, hey, I recommend this game for PVers. But I'm going to talk about PvP. Um, and I got a lot to say about PvP. So, I know a lot of people might, you know, they might not agree with me or disagree, whatever. I'm just voicing my opinion and my experience in the game, in the beta for what I had in PvP. And I mean, I don't want to step on nobody's toes, but I'm just going to put the facts and facts as that's how it is. I'm not going to sit here and, and lie and kiss up to people. And I'm going to just get straight to that right now. Oh yeah, one more thing. I just want to put out, I'm not whining, I'm not complaining. All I'm doing is voicing my opinion. And I'm going to talk about what I feel like what could be worked on in PvP. So before I, you know, get into that subject, I don't want nobody to be like, oh, he's complaining and stuff like that. Nah, everybody else is doing it. So I can I not do the same thing? Like, I'm, I have the freedom to talk about what I played, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like everybody should respect everybody's opinions and just talk about what they feel. So that's all I'm going to say about that. So let's get into that right now. So PvP, huh? Where can I start? Let's just talk about the overall, just about PvP. Um, I dig it. You know, it's you gotta play a little bit smarter. I dig it. You know what I'm saying? Um, they want to keep it as more of a Tom Clancy type game. You know, like they don't want to um, make it, you know, too fake like how Division One is. You know what I'm saying? I'm like shooting somebody a hundred times. But that's the whole point of what I'm confused about because uh. Division is supposed to be an RPG game, so you're supposed to take multiple shots and bullets and gear matters, right? So I know where everybody's gonna say, oh, well, you you just only played the level 7 PvP. Correct. You're right about that. But I honestly feel like it's gonna be scaled up the same when you're level 30. And it's just gonna be the same, um, which goes into my never topic as well, the time to kill. I feel like time to kill, it's... it's uh, 
like I don't really know what I'm playing. Am I playing like uh, a realistic game, or is or, like oh I'm playing an RPG game? It doesn't. You know what I'm saying it doesn't feel like an RPG game. And I know, I know, I know this is not end game, and we haven't played with the skills. Just a beta. I get it. But let's honestly be real here. They have like 20 something more days left to actually, you know, finish the game. Most likely the game is ready complete. You know, so there's only a few things that they could do. You feel me? So it's like what we're playing, that's what we're getting, you know? So there's nothing that major that they could change. I feel like the movement is a little bit too slow and clunky or whatever, obviously, you know, but that could easily be fixed though. Just, you know, go in there, polish it up a little bit more. The other problem I have is um the weapons, like the weapon like mods they're like you kind of get penalized too much but apparently they came out and talked about that they're going to change the negatives so you basically wouldn't be like hitting like negative 20 percent crit chance something like that they're going to like reduce it to a little bit more shorter so that's okay um i also feel like armor kits they are a cool thing but i feel like you should be able to sprint and repair armor because I feel like when you get yourself in these moments where you're getting jumped, there's nothing that you could do. Yeah, it's okay to like know your awareness, but let's be honest. When you actually get a team, like the game is new. So when you actually get a full team, team, team in, in the game, like they actually know what they're playing, it's going to be hard to pull off those 1v4s and 1v6s. With the armor being like that, we have to sit, or sit, but stand and, and pop armor. I don't know that's I, I feel like they should change that i'm not the only one that actually had that um option and opinion as well i feel like wids had the same thing and marco but um hey it is what it is like hopefully it gets changed if not we're still gonna play the damn game you know what i'm saying plus the healing roles obviously we haven't saw the skills oh there was isaac <laughs> um but like we haven't really saw all of the healer skills in the game so we don't really know if, if there's um any other good healing obviously they said there's no burst healing in the game so which is okay i get it you know they want people to play a little bit more smarter and you know just be and cover more i get it but when you go for a cover based shooter game it never gets played off to how it really wants you know like people really don't take cover in this game like this you die fast so people's gonna rush you obviously when you're getting jumped when you take out and then a game where in division one where you didn't die fast you didn't take cover like look at games like gta look at games like cod like you don't really take cover in those games because you die fast so once everybody start picking up on the game learning the mechanics the map awareness the um basically how to build a builds if builds really matter you die too damn fast the pvp is probably just going to end up turning into division one pvp again all over again so it's just a thought just to put out there so apparently from what i read up and from what i heard apparently this is an older version that were played so um apparently this is basically what they played in the alpha i don't really know if that's confirmed or not that's just from what i heard and read up and apparently from my sources but if it is it is because i could tell you right now this this closed beta had a lot of bugs and glitches so i really hope the open beta is a totally different and a totally different game from what we played a little bit because uh it just wasn't acceptable for me to just you know like i'll be shooting and then i would have a gun in my hand it's basically the same as like bugs that was in division one which is kind of sad that it's like they didn't really fix it or learn from it but like i said th this was an older version i get it you know hopefully the new version in open beta you know clears up and um hopefully it plays the way how i wanted to play smoother controls you know probably up the the speed on the game a little bit you know just something like that just make the game a little bit more better to play and less buggy because that's why a lot of people stopped playing division one because it was just too much bugs glitches exploits you know hackers on pc you know it was, just, it was just like it was like they didn't really care you know so hopefully they got that situated here's another thing as well i feel like the cap of players in the dz 12 players i feel like we should bump it up or they should they should bump it up. i say we like i'm a diff but um they should bump it up i feel like 16 players would probably be better and i kind of see why they don't want to you know because they're giving you three dark zones and obviously they're trying to keep it you know more occupied to you know go to all three and also 
to stop the lag because um division one had a lot of lag in it as well because of the player count but i don't know i just feel like it was just harder to find players you know you got distractions and of course when people clean out landmarks it would light up red but I don't know, it's nothing really a big major problem. It's just, you know, I just feel like I think 16 players would be more effective and, you know, it would just be more intense to actually get in these PvP fights. But, yeah, I'm good with it. I'm cool. Now, I got two questions for Massive. Two questions. Question number one. Why, when we go rogue on Manhunt, my fault, Manhunt, why do we have, like, a little effect, like, uh, a visual effect, like... I don't know how to explain it, like, but all I can say is that hopefully there's a feature to turn that off. I actually died twice, three times by that. Like, I will try to, like, ADS my opponent, and the visual will pop up, and they'll throw off my aim. Uh, I, I don't really agree with all that. It's, like, too much. You're doing too much. It's it's too much. And the fact that is when we die is a manhunt. We got to wait 60 seconds. Like that's unacceptable. All that's going to do is cause people to clap off your body for 60 seconds. And also with the going rogue, when you die, like you, you, you come back out and a turret kills you. You got to wait 60 seconds. Like that's really annoying as hell. Like hopefully that's a bug. I pray that it's a bug. But um, hopefully I talk about it. And hopefully in the open beta, everything gets fixed and we'll see. But hopefully, Massive, if you listen, hopefully, I pray that that was a bug. And hopefully in the open beta, that is gone. Finish. Because that really triggers a lot of players. Like, you don't understand how you sit there for 60 seconds, then come back outside and die by a turret and wait for another 60 seconds. Like, that is, no, that's stressful as hell, so yeah address that please but other than that i think that's about it i'm pretty sure it might have more but i'm not really trying to you know make the video a little bit too long it's probably the longest video i ever did no matter of fact there is let's talk about strafing <laughs> so i am a strafe god myself i strafe a lot and you know it's kind of viable and not viable but I'm going to put up a clip to show you that strafing is still in the game. Basically, they slower the movement speed. They stopped it. Burst healing. And to put the armor kit to be steady. But for strafing. But literally, you didn't really fix anything. Look, it's a clip right here of me strafing. Um, my homeboy, Ed. He's actually recording me. I believe I was out of combat. I don't remember. In combat, out of combat. It doesn't matter. The function is still there. You can still do what you want to do. PC players could do a little bit more fluently because obviously with, with a keyboard. But other than that, you know, that's just about it. I feel like hopefully Division 2 succeeds. I want it to succeed badly. It's my favorite game. I love the Division series. But like I said, it's your boy Rockstar the Villain. I'll catch you on my next video. And I'll be posting up more footage and content for Division. Stay tuned. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.